just my name is Dawn Bennett, and this is the first class in the seven part series in Path to Passion. I also want to say everything, and this is really important everything that you experience around your body and your sexuality is not. There are very, very few instances in which there's actually a physical challenge that cannot be overcome. How you look, how you smell, how you look, your sex drive, or your lack thereof, what you like, what you don't like, all of that is normal, even though you may not have been taught to. Sexual desire challenges. A hypo or underactive sexual desire disorder has been reported about 30% of women, 15% of men. And it's really associated with a variety of medical and physiological, I'm sorry, psychological causes. According to a USA Today poll, 30 to 50% of adult women report they have little to no sex drive. And when it comes to men, right, category is not fixed just by Viagra, right? The pill doesn't do anything for desire, just for arousal. It just, and when we know that stress, time pressures, lack of connection, financial strain, all that kills your libido. So is it that far of a stretch to know that? most of the desire problem can be dealt with successfully if you're clearing the emotional stuff to reduce these emotional blocks and fear. I want to note once again, that also there's no length of time that it should take for either men or women to, be, to reach orgasm. Because your factors, hormonal stress, cycles, your brain, foreplay, all impact the length of time it takes and the ability to orgasm. So tapping on, doing EFT on all the nagging voices, all of the things that come up when you're actually having sexual intercourse can actually release that. So you can start feeling more relaxed, move towards orgasm and not forcing yourself to go at a certain pace or expecting it to be a certain way or feel a certain way or at a certain time or all of the stuff. Right? Because that's where healing comes from is self-forgiveness, self-love, and gentleness. The influences of internet pornography, sex addiction, and past sexual abuse are so pervasive that it also can affect this and all the other categories. So we're going to talk about that more in later classes. Follow and like this channel. And if you're ready to learn more, check out my link below. This is just the beginning of what could be a healthier, happier life for you and your current Remember you are loved, you are loving, you are lovable. Mm -hmm.